Northampton House has been occupied for over 500 years. The Doomsday Book of 1086 mentions a manor, then called Piddell, indicating the site was occupied as far back as the 11th century, perhaps longer. Sir William Martin built the hall at Athelhampton in about 1485 at the time of the Battle of Bosworth Field. Over the years, the house has been through a series of construction projects. Rooms and wings have been added and the gate house has since been removed. One of the oldest upstairs rooms is the King's Room. It was built on the site of the solar or withdrawing room of the 15th century manor. Throughout its past it has had varied uses, such as being a gun room during World War II. It is called the King's Room because it was traditionally the place where the manorial court was held in the name of the King. Today the room's appearance looks similar to that of the Palace of Westminster with wooden panelling and dark oak furniture. The gothic lily wallpaper on the archway of the door adds to this theme. The main lure of this room is the Charles I oak tester bedstead, exquisitely carved in a British tradition illustrated by Victor Chinnery. A Charles I oak court cupboard dating back to 1630 can also be observed. A James I oak coffer with three bold gorbals carved with leaves stands at the foot of the bed and dates back to the 17th century. In the fireplace there is a cast iron fire grate dating back to the 19th century in the manner of A.W.N. Pugin. A wonderful gothic ormolu colza chandelier in the manner of A.W.N. Pugin take centre stage dating back to 1840. A late 17th century Nicholas Hancock brass lantern clock stands in the right hand corner of the bedroom. This room does give a Tudor ambience with its dark panelling and arched doorways. Opposite the King's Room is a small bathroom. It is a Victorian style to fit with the traditions of the house. It represents how the bathroom transformed homes during the Victorian period. The library on the second floor was originally partitioned into three bedchambers, but was converted into the panelled room seen today in 1893 by Alfred Clark de Lafontaine. Sir Robert Cook added the large bookcase which covers the north end of the room. There are over 3,000 books on a wide range of topics covering architecture, furniture, history, natural history and literature. Today, a Riley Imperial full-size snooker table sits in the centre of the room alongside a collection of traditional games such as chess, making it a billiards room as well as a library. An unusual 19th century Regency mahogany sideboard with drawers and cupboards can be observed. There is a Charles II oak table dating back to 1630 and a George VI rosewood library table dated 1825. A pair of early Victorian oak gothic armchairs and a table globe showing the voyages of Captain James Cook which dates back to the 18th century also add to the styling of this room. Next to this room is a smaller library, also housing a wide range of books. It is decorated as though it is Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee, with original decorative banners from the 20th of June 1887, and a Queen Victoria bust which sits majestically in the centre of the room. In the attic is a gallery which showcases the work of Russian artist Marivna, who was the mother-in-law to former owner of Athelhampton, Rodney Phillips. During her 92 years, she was educated at Moscow Art School, spent time in Paris during the Cubist period, lived at Athelhampton from 1948 to 1957, and then Ealing until her death in 1984. During her time at Athelhampton, she painted a variety of portraits, local landscapes, still lives and even dead creatures, 
either found or shot by the gardeners. The gallery houses 30 of her works covering all periods and styles of her life. She wrote her autobiography in 1962 and her other book Life with the Painters of La Rouche followed telling memories of living in Paris with artists such as Picasso, Modigliani, Soutin and Mexican wall mural artist Diego Rivera by whom she had a daughter Marika in 1919. One of the best Cubism pieces is her homage to Friends from Montparnasse, 1961, which is a colourful piece depicting other artists including Rivera and daughter Marika. Other paintings consist of David Ellie Phillips, 1951, Peasant Farmer and His Goat, 1953, Study of Dead Crow, 1955, Claude Lamorissi with Two Tibetan Dogs, owned by Ram Kopal, 1974, Young Woman, 1935, and Stockholm Harbour Part Two, 1962. Heading over to the opposite side of the east wing, the first point of interest is the staircase. Although it appears to be original to the house, it wasn't built until 1895. All the staircases at Athelhampton were originally spiral. In 1961, the upper flight, which was initially made of Dell, in 1895 was removed and the lower flight was constructed using old materials. Much of the oak is from the Jacobean origin and came from the Priory at Bradford-on-Avon, which was demolished. The red wallpaper is a William Morris pineapple design. The staircase stained glass window commemorates Athelstan, the Bishop of Salisbury, and William III. Salisbury acquired Athelhampston, as it was then known, from King William by exchange before 1066. One of the oldest rooms is a state bedroom featuring the original 15th century hamstone fireplace. This bears the monkey crest of Sir William Martin and the founding unicorn of his first wife. An early 17th century carved oak four-poster tester bedstead with a modern tented canopy sits majestically in the room. Beside the dressing table is one of two Flemish walnut armchairs which are late 17th century. There is a late 17th century Charles II oak chest and coffer, both carved. An arched doorway to the side of the state bedroom leads to a chapel with an oak pew dating back to the early 17th century, with an unusual slated folding chair. A stained glass window depicting the Virgin Mary and other religious icons can be observed. Another arched doorway leads to a more modern bathroom with 18th century tiles. Oak panels cover the walls of the state bedroom. The top course of oak panelling is decorated with sea creatures. On either side of the bed are two views of Athelhampton painted by Lord Metheon. Another painting circle of Nathaniel Hun, a double portrait of father and son, can also be observed. There are three Spanish dolls, St Anne, St Mary and St Catherine, dating back to the 17th century. In the south windows, the arms of the families who have lived in Athelhampton, Martin, Brune and Cook, can be observed as stained glass. As well as the state bedroom, this part of the house is home to three other rooms. The dressing room, which is in the first room as you come up the stairs, was created in the 18th century when the Great Hall was linked to the kitchen range. Originally there would have been a service yard to the north of the hall. The room now contains some of Andrea Cook's vintage clothes collection and some 18th to 20th century costumes. A portrait of Catherine, the daughter of Henry Lord Norreys and wife of Sir Anthony Poulet hangs on the wall at the far end of the room. There is a pair of William and Mary style silvered wood armchairs and an Irish George I mahogany side table which was exhibited in the Holborn Museum in Bath in 2002. An 18th century coot on carpet from East Turkestan sits in the centre of the room. Beside the dressing room is the yellow bedroom. 
At a glance, this room appears to be Edwardian, however the 19th century panelling is fixed directly to the early Tudor brick and timber structure. A photograph of Alfred Cart de La Fontaine commemorates his time at Athelhampton from 1891 to 1918. He restored much of the hall's interior and begun the formal gardens. There is a pair of George III giltwood girandoles in the manner of Thomas Johnson. An oil painting circle of Vivano Cadassi, which is an architectural caprico with Christ and the centurion, hangs majestically on the wall. There is a Charles II style walnut and parcel gilt side table, a similar design one commissioned at Chatsworth House. An 18th century cubicella rug, any Cacolsus, sits in the centre of the room. A George III giltwood wall mirror in the manner of Chippendale hangs elegantly in the left-hand side of the room beside the window. There is also a pair of Anglo-Dutch walnut tobore stools dated late 17th century. Next to the yellow bedroom is the yellow bedroom closet, an ensuite bathroom for the yellow bedroom. This room was originally a bedchamber until the arrival of plumbed bathrooms. When the bedchambers on the east wing were first built, they were accessed by a series of doors along the east wall. During the Edwardian period, the doors were blocked off, except for the doorway between this room and the yellow bedroom, so that an ensuite could be added. The walls of this room are covered with the scares brick design of red and gold hand-blocked wallpaper by A.W.N. Pugin. Beside the bath is a fine Afshaneris rug S.W. Persia dated 1890. A George III giltwood overmantel mirror in the manner of Thomas Johnson hangs above the bath. By the window is a George III mahogany dressing table. A 17th century Flemish ebony cabinet on a stand sits on the left-hand side of the room beside the bar. Downstairs near the great hall is the wine cellar. Originally this room would have been directly below the solar room. The doorway has been widened to allow space for the wine casks. The wrought iron screen is more recent, however it is an authentic style. According to legend, there was once a tunnel running between the house and the woods to the south of Athelhampton. However, the entrance has never been found, despite various investigations. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your time at Athelhampton.